In this video, we have to find the magnitude of v, where v is equal to 3i. So v is a vector, so you can use the little arrow notation, and it's equal to 3i. Now actually, you can think of this as 3i plus 0j, where i hat and j hat are your unit vectors. So you can write this in what's called component form as 3 comma 0. So this is perhaps a better way to think of it. So the formula for the magnitude of this vector is given by the following. So the magnitude of v is equal to the square root and then you just take the components and square them. So you do a squared plus b squared. In this example here, a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 0. So this is equal to the square root of, so it would be 3 squared plus 0 squared. So this is equal to the square root of 9, which is just equal to 3. So that would be the magnitude of this vector. Now I just realized there is another way to do this problem. You can just graph the vector and find the answer. Let's say this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So x and this is y. And so to find the magnitude of this vector, all you do is graph it. So v equals 3 i hat is this vector here. So 1, 2, 3. So the vector starts at the origin, and its terminal point is right here. So this is our vector. This yellow arrow is our vector. So the magnitude is also called the length, uh, which is also called the norm. And it's just the length. So in this case, the length is 3. So two ways to do it. You can use the formula or you can draw a picture in this case. Now it's not always easy to draw a picture and figure it out but most of the time uh, it's a good way to go. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.